Hi, this is Vince Campy again. How are you? Uh, we're going to talk about tables, formatting and tables today. What we're going to do is go ahead, so go ahead and open Word here, get a new document. Now, you can put a proper heading of some kind on there if you'd like. And we're viewing this at 100%, so it's a little small, but it fits on the screen here. Okay, then if you have to put period, um, whatever that period is you're in right now. Um, the date. Now, Word is great this way. O, C, T, O, then the date comes up. All you do is hit return, and it types it in. Now, if I hit the space bar, it gives you the whole date. You hit return, and it types the whole thing in for you. Okay? So now I'm going to hit return again, and we're going to type in, whoops, this is the class, new media, and this is formatting with tables. Okay, let's throw another T in there. What do you say? Come on, little T. There you go. Okay, now I can hit return once to get a paragraph mark over here. This is our title, and so we're going to center the title with the align center key. Okay, now, if you're doing word formatting um, or any kind of academic word processing, you'll want to use a 12-point font for pretty much most of it. You can go up to a 24-point in this uh, title here, but it's got to be Arial or Times, Times New Roman, perhaps Courier. But use the Arial or Times New Roman are the fonts that you'll want to use. I just prefer Arial. And plus, it's easier to read on the screen. So now, if we want to format, what we did is uh, we did a basic website uh, link structure with tables. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go here and insert a table. So this is one way. There's always several ways to do it. This is the way we're going to do it. Table, insert, table. And we're going to go number of columns, five will be good. Rows, let's put 10. Yeah. OK, then it's going to auto format. I always remember columns up and down. They hold the roof on. OK, hit OK. There we have that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select. We're going to click in this first cell and select straight across. Let go. Now we're going to merge these because this, this is going to be our title uh, bar here. So you can go to table, merge cells. And that makes it a nice one clean cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to put home page on here. OK. Now, we're going to want this whole table uh, to be centered, all the words in this table to be centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right in here, hold and drag to select all the cells. Make sure you don't select those over there. Whoops, missed them. So I'm going to click to deselect and click here and drag down. OK. Now, if you hit the... Uh, Align center, it will center. So now everything on this ta uh, table is going to be centered. So this is the basic the home page. On this side, you may uh, usually you have a, a home button. Here you may have a products, and maybe community solutions, perhaps, and maybe contact information over here. Okay, see now all these are, uh, are centered nicely. Now, sometimes a web page will have all these or some document. You want everything to be capitals. You didn't type it in that way. So if you go over to this side, any Word document, this will happen. You get the arrow pointing towards the, um, towards the line. Click on that. It selects the whole line. Now, if you want to change these to all caps, you can go to Format, Case Change, and now, you can have many choices here. Sentence case, lowercase, uppercase, title case, or toggle arty thing. I want it to all be uppercase. So I can hit OK. Now, you don't have to retype them. You just, they're already in uppercase. What we're going to do, we're going to focus for this little web thing on community. So I'm going to click right here. Community. OK. And I'm going to leave it uh, upper and lower case uh, for this particular thing. Now, I want visually, I want to be able to see this more clearly. So I'm going to select these two cells right here. And I'm going to merge them. So again, we can go up to Table, Merge Cells. Or on this side, click Hold. I can hold uh, Control or right click. Oops, sorry, my bad. Apple. Apple click or right click. Oh, I was right. <laughs> OK. Uh, control. And we'll go over to Merge Cells. So that's just basically right click, or on the Apple, it's Control click. 
and we can do that. Now, community, I want to make that bold so we can see it. It'll pop out a little bit. You can either in the formatting toolbar, you can hit bold, or you can hold uh, Apple Command B, or on Windows, Control B. That'll bold that. Okay. Now, on the site that we were looking at, the Adobe site, um, it had some several links on this. So this would be the home page, and then from these, there's a link. So I'm going to click here, and this is the one we mapped out in Microsoft Word earlier today. So over here we had developers, designers, educators, and partners. So developers, designers. So we'll go over here, and we'll type in the oops, cord over the thing there, developers. And then hit tab to go between editable areas here. Developers, designers, over here, educators. Just so they're, they're basically in the same place that they were on the page. And uh, what was that last one? Let's see. Click over here. Partners. There you have it. Hey, alrighty, partner. Who's your partner? Okay, partner, alrighty. Now over here, they had related links. So I'm going to type in related links, okay? Now under the related links section, they had support training events. We'll go with that. Okay. Support, click down here, training events and they had RSS really simple syntax okay now we want this we don't really want this to be centered because this is a, a subtitle and then these are under it so we're gonna do a left align of these cells so you click in the cells and you just drag straight down and I'll select those and I'm gonna go up and left align those but I want these to be indented a little bit under here so you can tell that they're sub to that. Okay, so now if I select these four cells right there, then I go over the up and down arrow there, or uh, line there, we can click on that, oops, deselected them, select them again, again, <laughs> and then click and drag it over a little bit, and now um, they will appear to be uh, indented on there. Okay, so now here we have all the links that we're going to put on this. There were more, but uh, for this, um, this will get the point across. Okay, what I want to do, I want to uh, do a 1.5 line spacing on this just to give it a little breathing room. So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to drag down and select everything in the table and go um, to Format, Paragraph, Line Spacing, single 1.5. Don't worry about double spacing this because this isn't a regular document with uh, body text of like paragraphs and that. So this is a special formatting thing so you can use different line spacing on this. Alrighty, so there we have that. Now, if we look at this in the print preview, right up here in the standard toolbar, the print preview, click on that and what you can do, it comes up with a, a zoom magnifier there. And it's like, okay, this looks nice, but all these lines are just kind of messy looking. So we'll close this. Then we'll go over, click anywhere in the table. And then up here in the, whoops, there you go. It's not disappear sometimes, a little uh, cross up there in the corner. So we're going to click on that, which will select the whole table. Now, to get rid of all the lines, we're going to go to Format, Borders and Shading. Okay, we're going to select None. Then we're going to hit OK. Now, you still see the formatting lines here, but when you go into Print Preview, what's going to actually print, it looks beautiful. See, so now we have a, just a, the basic structure of this, uh, the, the links in this web page done in a table. So tables are really useful for many things, and this is just one little example of um, how to use a table to organize things. See how it came in indented here? And these are the all caps up there. And so, so this is very nice, very nice thing. Then if you wanted to, maybe click on the, the side of the title, hit return, just give it a little space there. Select that, maybe make that a bigger font, 18-point font, go and get some lovely font that you have, and you have a nice looking document. Click back over here and print preview, zoom in, and we have a beautiful 
uh, document built in tables, and no one would know when you print this out. They would have no idea that you built that in tables. So it's a lot easier and more durable than using tabs to do a similar type of thing. All right, take care. Bye-bye.